Hello everyone, how's it going? Today I want to talk about Power Pulse, the three different versions of the Power Pulse, how many connections they have, I want to talk about the graphs and how you can read them, and I want to talk about power efficiency and how you can tell if your factory is running on efficient power. Here you can see the three Power Pulse. The first one on the left is Power Pull 1, the middle is the Power Pull 2, and the third is the Power Pull number 3. You can see the size difference right here. There's three different power pulls. The first one has four connections, the second one will have seven connections, and the third one has ten connections. Once the power pole is connected with a couple machines, you can see a graph. This graph will show you the power incoming and the power outgoing towards your machines. So there is electrical machines that produce power which will add power to the uh, to the graph and there's machines that will use power. You can see the difference in this graph. There's four lines. There is a production line, which means the power you're producing with your power machines like coal generators, fuel generators, and etc. And there is a orange line, which will show you the consumption of power by the machines that are producing other items like rods or whatever, constructors, refineries, you know, that's those kind of machines. Uh, the blue line will show you the maximum amount of power they can use, which means that it will show you the maximum of power if all the machines are on at the same time. If you want to be sure your power doesn't get broken, look at the blue line and look at your production line. As long as your production line is always above the blue line, you're fine. To help you recognize if you are running efficient power, if your machines have enough fuel to run efficient power, I made a little setup. Uh, one, the first one right here doesn't have enough fuel. The second one will have just enough fuel. And the third one has an overflow of fuel. Right here I'm going to show you each uh, graph of each setup. The first one is the one that doesn't have enough fuel. So looking at the graph you can recognize that the production line is going up and down. Which means that one of the uh, machines that are producing power is not getting enough fuel. And can't deliver the maximum amount of power. Uh, as you can see is the, blue, the blue line is still beneath this. Which means that the power won't break. But this isn't efficient. You kind of want that production line to be stable. As you can see here, uh, it requires fuel and sometimes it gets it just in time, uh, but then sometimes like right here it doesn't. This is not efficient. Sometimes one machine will just break and not produce power. So if that blue line is above that bottom line of the production line, the power will break. For the second setup, this setup has enough fuel. As you can see, the production line is stable. It's one line on 225 megawatts. So you always know how much power you have and it will always stay there if you make sure it has enough fuel. As you can see here, it's it's uh, it has fuel. It has it before it runs out. So this one is stable. This one has just has enough fuel. This won't break as long as the blue and orange line are beneath this stable production line. And then the third setup, the third setup has an overflow of fuel. Looking at the graph, you can't really see a difference between just enough or an overflow. But if you look into the machines, you can see they're full. They have 100 coal each, which is the maximum, and they're not going down. Um, this means you can actually add another coal generator, because you have enough uh, coal to get another one going. Just make sure you have enough water too. Because this machine also requires water of course but looking at the graph you can always see if every machine is working or not to see this in practice i took the two setups which i showed in the last video the left setup is the one that isn't efficient here some machines are not working and some machines are it's unstable and on the right there's a stable uh, production line this uh, production line is always on every machine is always on so you always know how much power you're using and basically the blue line hits the orange line 
because it's always on every machine so maximum consumption now we'll check out the graphs of these setups so we'll start with the first one the left one as you can see here the blue line and orange line are not hitting each other this means that the machines are not always producing not every machine is always on so the orange line will go up and down the blue line will always be stable because it just calculates every machine when it's always on so that's a stable line always because it just adds the power usage of every machine in this setup as you can see here the assembler is now working but once it's done producing the reinforced iron plate it will stop working because it doesn't have enough screws this means that not every machine is always on so the orange line again is not always uh, stable now i want to show you the setup you kind of always want to accomplish this is a stable setup here you can see that the production is stable and the consumption and max consumption are stable this means that every machine is always on so this is how you can recognize if your setup is running efficiently so you kind of want that power usage to be stable and you want your power uh, production to be stable so that you don't get surprised by a power outage as you can see here the assembler is getting enough uh, items to make reinforced iron plates and we'll just keep going the number efficiently is not 100% yet because it takes a minute um, but looking at the items on the left you can see that it has enough to keep producing the same is for every other machine here so this is a stable setup and this is how you can recognize it in the graph it took me a while to uh, find a good way explaining this graph uh, it might be easy for a lot of people but for some people it's a little bit hard it was hard for me in the beginning to recognize the graph and how to read it um, but it can be very handy to know how much power you're using and how much power you're producing and where to fix things you know sometimes you don't know why some uh, power outages are happening um, and you just keep struggling with it this takes time and you can't produce so i hope i helped you guys with this uh, with this tutorial i hope it was all clear um, if not make sure to leave a comment uh, leave a question there and i can uh, i can try to answer it and uh, if you want to say something else make sure to leave a comment as well this last part was a uh, little bit of a sneak peek for a build i'm building uh, this will take me some more time but eventually there will be a video showcasing this build it's a big ass train station so i think uh, maybe you, uh, you will be interested um, i want to thank you guys for watching i want to thank you guys for being here and um, make sure to leave a like or a dislike and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video have a great day